Okay, today I'm going to show you how to create a magic circle or a magic ring. I'm going to show you first a single crochet, then dub half double and double. So I've got my medium weight yarn, I've got the corresponding hook. I'm going to start by um, adjust, putting my um, yarn around my pinky of my dominant hand so that uh, I can secure the tension. And you know, I'm going to start by draping it around my pinky, making the circle like a loop. Like so. And it's going to come back around and over the back of my hand, securing it against my index finger. I'm going to make a P shape like that. And I'm going to secure the cross of the P with my thumb at least till we get the hook set. The hook is going to go through the circle of the P and I'm going to grab my working yarn and pull it through the circle. If you need to adjust your grip at that point you can hold the yarn on your hook with your other hand and your uh, hold your all three pieces of your yarn that way. I'm sorry, that's your non-dominant hand. I said dominant hand earlier. Then you're going to grab your working yarn onto your hook and pull it through the hoop that's on your hook. And this is a chain one and it sets the yarn on your hook so you can let go of your um, circle if you need to, adjust your grip as you um, continue to work. Uh, now you're gonna go through the hoop Grab a yarn strand, and you can adjust your grip if you need to. You're going to yarn over and pull through two hoops. This is your first single crochet. So we're going to go through the circle each time, grabbing your yarn, pulling through. So you have two loops. Grab it from the top and pull through both hoops. You can see I have two stitches now on my circle. I'm going to go through my circle, grab my working yarn to pull up a second hoop on my hook, yarn over, pull through two hoops, and now I have three stitches. A few more times through the circle, pull up a loop, pull through my working yar yarn through two hoops. So now I should have four. You can see the circle there and I can let go of it and it stays in place at this point. And I can adjust my tension if I need to. So we're starting again. The yarn is the hooks going to go through the circle. Grabbing my working yarn, pulling through. So I now have two hoops on my hook. Go over, pull up, the, pull my yarn through both hoops on the hook. One more time, through the circle, yarn over, through two hoops. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches on my circle, my magic ring now. Um, you're going to do as many as your pattern calls for. I'm going to do two more because it should give me a nice round tight circle. Through my circle, pull up a loop, we aren't over, pull through two hoops. Let's see one more. Get my tail out of the way. Through the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two hoops. Alright. That gives me eight. Now if I want to tighten and get ready for the next round. I can pull on the tail and it should tighten into a nice tight circle. With no gap. I can, if my pattern calls for it, then I can join. Usually it, you join the first stitch you made with a slip stitch, which is just a yarn over pull through and then pull through the one that's on, still on your hook like that and there we have our nice tight 
single crochet round. And you can proceed from there however your pattern calls for it. All right, here is a half double crochet. We're going to start the same. The magic circle always starts the same. We're going to thread it through the, around the pinky, over the back, and making a P shape, holding it in place with your thumb. Your hook goes through the circle, pulls up a loop from the working yarn, and you're going to yarn over and pull through to chain one there and set your yarn. Now for half double crochet, we're going to yarn over first before we go through the hoop. And then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Yarn over, through the circle, pull up a loop. You'll have three on your hook. Pull through, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three. So we now have three. Let's do a couple more. Yarn over, go through the circle. Yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go through the circle, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three. And there's our half double crochet. I've got five on the loop. And if I tighten, it makes kind of a half circle because I didn't do a lot of and I can slip stitch to join if I need to. Feel free to slow down this video if you need to watch it go a little bit slower. And again, it makes a nice tight but slightly bigger circle than a single crochet. Alright, let's do double crochet now. <laughs> I'm going to thread it around the pinky across the back of your hand, your non-dominant hand. You're going to make the P shape. Hold it in place with your thumb. Your hook goes through the circle, pulls up a loop, yarns over, pulls through that loop to secure your yarn. Now, if you needed to, you could chain more. Sometimes a pattern calls for a starting chain like that. You can just pull through a few more. Uh, especially with double crochet, you need to chain three. So now we're going to start a double crochet. Oh, I'm just going to do this again because I'm not going to start with a starting chain, but know that it's possible. I'm going to reset my, my P shape here. Put my hook in, pull through, yarn over, set my hook, yarn over, Go through the loop, pull up a loop. Now remember double crochets through, pull through two first and then two again. So we're gonna pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the second two loops. So yarn over, pull through, pull up a loop, yarn over again, pull through the first two hoops. It leaves you with two on the hook, yarn over and pull through two again. Yarn over, through the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, through the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops. So I now have four double crochets in my circle. Yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops. I can yank that closed because I only made five, it makes only like a half circle. But useful for things like if you're doing teddy bear ears and stuff like that. So that is a double crochet on the magic ring.